Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come and like and share me. Come and take a peek. Come and like and share me. Your oh, boy done switched up on you. Come and like and share me. Center. My eggs look a little washed out. That'd be alright. I should have put some on the bundle. Okay, here we go. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time in this channel, you're in for a treat. Now, look, if you're watching, don't be peeking. Come on and speak. And the way you speak is to run over and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to the Lips family. Now, now that you're part of the Lips family, there is something that I need for you to do. That thing is comment, comment, comment like share and go. Put a team. Comment like share and go. Put a team. Comment like share and don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Okay, you guys, today we're doing a challenge. This challenge was made up by Simply Food by TY, and it is the no, the mukbang no edit challenge. Okay. I hope you guys enjoy. I won't be editing anything out, so you're going to see a lot of things today that you normally wouldn't see. So, here we go. Let's pray and get into the poo. Amen. Okay, you guys, today we have pig ears. We have devil eggs. You know we got the jalapenos on deck. We got some habaneros here. We've got slimy okra here. And as a treat for me, because you guys know that I have problems with tomatoes. You know, I'm allergic to tomatoes. I can't eat them right like a red, ripe tomato, I can't eat that. But if they're stewed, cooked, or if they're green prior to them being red, I can eat them. So this is a treat for me, you guys. Plus, pig is one of my favorite meals in the world, right behind Supreme or Super Supreme Pizza. So anyway, you guys, we've already prayed. Let's get into the food. Over here to the side, I've got the Lips Hot Sauce, and you already know, I've got the, I've got the Tabasco Sauce as well, and you already know, because I told you we're not going to delay anymore. That didn't go right. I can't edit that out. Okay. Oh, but by the way, after this here, you're going to see it just like it is, just like I recorded today. I'm going to put like how I get my thumbnail at the end. And then tomorrow, you'll get to see me edit it all the way through and see how you end up with the product that I normally give you. So anyway, okay, what was I at? Okay, over here on the side, you guys, I have the lips hot sauce. The camera was hating. Okay, you guys, over here to the side, I've got the Lips Hot Sauce. I've got some Tabasco sauce. And I already let you know that we're not going to be... Uh, the, lip, the hot sauce and Tabasco sauce is good. Okay. Move it back out the frame. Okay, you guys, we ain't going to wait any longer. I'm going to go ahead and introduce him. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help me out because this is one of my favorite meals and baby, I'm finna get down. Speaking of get down, I got something to tell you as soon as I see it, Big Ben is nice and refreshing. Yes, he is. Now, without any further ado, guess what, you guys? As you can see, we're in the get down, in the get down shirt. Hey, we in the get down, in the get down shirt. Hey, we in the get down, in the get down shirt. Hey, okay, you guys, I'm hungry. Let's get it. That was just a decoration song. So, I'll tell you what we got. Let's get that eating. Okay, so like I told you guys, this here is a little treat for me. Because I can't eat tomatoes much. But, in order for me to have, or just the way that I like them, I like these pig ears to be eaten with 
stewed tomatoes. Okay, y'all, I got to cut these so I know that camera may be wiggling a little bit. I hope it ain't hating. I hope it ain't hating. Okay. Hmm. So let's get us some of these tomatoes over here. I don't know if you can see it just yet, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to show it to you. We're going to put a little lips hot sauce on it. A little lips hot sauce on it. Get it ready here. Okay, you guys, we ready. Mmm. Girl, like I said, this challenge was made by... I ain't going to say it. This challenge was made by Simply Food by T.Y. That got a computer. Cutting up. I generally leave that kind of stuff there in anyway. Because it's you guys. It's you guys. There you the first bite of the pig here. Can you see it? Baby! Mmm. Mm. Y'all is so good. Mmm. Mmm. So for the reason for this challenge here, yeah, you know I've already told you guys, anything that I see, that I feel like that you need to say, no matter who's doing it, if I think it's good for you, I'm going to, y'all let's go ahead and hit this with a little Tabasco too. I'm going to bring it to you. Mm. I'm going to put some up there too. So I ain't got to redo that no more. Uh. Mm -hmm. mm. Y'all that lips hot sauce. When I make it up, I make it up in a big container. And so when I get to the bottom, that's more of the pig here. See it? Mmm. So I make it up in a bigger container. And then I transfer it over into the bottle that you see every day. So when I get to the bottom of it, the seasoning, the cayenne, all the spices, and then all the peppers that sink to the bottom, they all down that way number. There you go, another piece. Y'all, this is good. Mmm. This is a pig's ear. Now, I know I'm going to get the questions as to how to cook it. Because I know you guys, some of you guys probably have never eaten it. So what you do, you get them, you clean them, you put them up. Over the pot, about half full of water, enough to cover them up. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all, them devil eggs are slamming. So, you put two, two garlic cloves over in the water. You gotta use garlic powder, seasoning salt, Cajun seasoning, a half an onion. Jalapenos cut up in the inside. You can use the pickle ones that already come cut if you want to. I use fresh. You gotta put red pepper flakes in it. Just a pinch or two. Mm. And let it rip. Now you wanna cook it. Your pig ears have like cartilage. Kind of chews up like bristle in them. And at the top of the ear, where they cut it off, like here, it has a thicker part of gristle. Now you gotta cook it until you get that gristle soft enough for you to cut through. And when you do that, it's up to you. But make sure you get that done. Make sure you get it cooked long enough until you can cut through this gristle as I am right here. I know to cook mine down until they're so soft that I can just cut them with a spoon. I mean, with a fork, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> My decoration done failed. <laughs> if I can edit this, tomorrow when I edit this and you see how it's going to come out, how, how I get it together, cut it and edit it for you, you'll see that you ain't going to see that. Well, Pepper failed that decoration. I cannot leave it in there. So anyway, back to the challenge. Baby! Baby! I ain't got no tomatoes. Be quick, please. Because I can't edit this out. I need the pink salt too. I ain't got it over here either. So anyway, y'all, let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and keep eating. So anyway, y'all, he made this challenge because he wanted you guys, our followers, in my case, my legion, he wanted you guys to see what we go through and how much work that we have to do mm -hmm. to get you a finished product. Mm. Before the video is complete and we give it to you on a daily basis. Because y'all, it is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Now tomorrow when you see that, I need that pink salt. I'm gonna put that right back there. I'm gonna set it right back up. For you on the edit version, and you won't see none of that. I'm going to come right back in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just flash back in. You know you're on the right channel, baby. You know you're on the right channel. I'm going to, some kind of way, I'm going to figure out a way to cut that in and put that in there. I don't know. But, I got my tomatoes and I got my pink salt. Here we go. You guys. Okay, he did this challenge, like, because he wanted you guys to know exactly what we go through to get you a finished product of the video that you see every day. I thought that was so cool. I thought that it was something that would be good for you guys. There you go. But I got to put some hot sauce on it. I didn't put no hot sauce on it then because I wanted you to see it. Even though it had some hot sauce on it because I put it on all of it a while ago. <laughs> but anyway, he wanted you guys to see exactly what goes on. Ooh. Y'all see that? Ooh, wait. Mmm. Behind the scenes. And stuff like that. Because y'all, this is a lot of work. Because look, this is what you gotta do. First of all, you got to stay creative. And pick out meals that you think people want to see. And things that you like that you're going to want to eat to make it good where well, people will want to see it. So then, once you pick out the meal, you got to get the food. If you don't have it at home, you got to go buy it. Or run out and get food to do the video with. And then you got to cook it. And then after you cook it, you got to set it up for it to be appetizing looking for you. Do little decorations and all that. Play with the colors to make, I ain't gonna say it y'all. Play with the colors and stuff on the plate to make it look appetizing. Then you gotta iron your shirt. Yeah, I had to iron it to get down in the get down shirt. You gotta iron, get ready. Make sure you got all your condiments and stuff that you need to wherever you're going to shoot at. Then you got to set the camera up. And then you got to make the video. After you make the video, you got to edit the video. All this takes time. It takes two, three, sometimes four, five hours to edit the video. Mm. 
then you gotta upload the video to YouTube. I have to fight with the screen to make sure that my play ain't moving, my camera ain't hanging, to make sure that the background is set right. I gotta pick a background first, make sure that it's set right. Because when I record this video, as you can see, there's nothing back here. It's just a screen there. Well, it's just all blue. And then I go in and physically edit and put that back. See, that camera was just hating. It was just hating. Mm. Put the background on the video. Then you gotta upload it to YouTube. Which most of the time is not an easy feat. Most of the time. But so he wants you to say the video without edits. So it is a two-part video. You'll see this one without edits today, fully. And then tomorrow, you'll see the video, what I would normally give you, regardless of, you know, after I finish the process. There's a lot of work. And then on top of it being a lot of work, after you do that, you get the video up. I schedule my videos to come out at the same time every day. You gotta do all that process. You gotta monetize the video. You know, put the ads in, the end screen, the eye cards. I'm gonna put all that in and then let it rip and it comes to you. Now, once it comes to you, guess what? Then I gotta go to answering comments. Now, we still just own one video. So I gotta answer the comments. Hmm. Mm. Check my analytics. See how the video going. I know sometimes y'all see when I put the video out, it has one title. And then you look up and I done changed it or I done changed the thumbnail. And that be because my analytics be telling me that it's not being watched well. And if you go over to T.Y.'s channel and watch his challenge, when he made this challenge, um, he tells you a lot of information that is very, very true and vital to run a successful platform on YouTube. You have to listen, look at the analytics and see what's going on and, and, and make alterations to try and hit that analytic. I mean, the algorithm. And it's very, very important. He breaks it down for you. I'm done with that. But I just tell you what's important and what I need for you to do every day. Listen, you guys. YouTube, like he says in his video, YouTube counts everything. They count every time that you like the video, every time you dislike the video, every time you share the video how long you watch the video, how many times you watch the video, they keep up with it all. Hence, where it came from, comment, 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 like, and share, and go on, take it for the team. Comment, like, and share, and go on, take it for the team. That's where it came from. Because that's what's um, important to YouTube in order to hit that algorithm where YouTube will push your video out more. The more times that you like or dislike, 
But the more times you comment on the video, when you share the video, YouTube knows that it'll make money off of that video as long as all that traffic is going on for that video. And they'll suggest it more. They'll suggest it more. Whether it's a good, a bad, or indifferent video, as long as it's got movement, it's got action, it's got you doing something to the video, in any kind of way, any type of interaction that you're doing helps the channel. Because YouTube sees that, that the video is active. You guys, this is a lot of work. That's why I was telling y'all before, let me give y'all this last bite. Ooh, wait. That's why I was telling you guys before, just like on my days off, I need you to go and watch old videos because that creates traffic for the channel even though I didn't upload a video. That's very important. When I'm off, if you guys don't watch old videos, then we lose the algorithm. We lose the, you know, the most, um, I guess the right word is the, if we don't hit the algorithm, we're missing like the, I don't know how to say it, but we're missing, if you don't have um, traffic going for your video, oh, excuse me, see that? If I could edit this, when you see this again, you ain't gonna see that part. But anyway, um, when you don't have traffic going for your video, it lessens what YouTube would do as far as recommending you. So that's why those things are important. Your Johnny food was good. It was just tempted good. So, because of all that we do do, that's why I'm so thankful for you guys. I'm so thankful for my legion because you guys are so kind. You guys love me and appreciate me. And you... You show me that by comment, like, and sharing, and going on taking for the team. Comment, like, and sharing, and going on taking it for the team. So I appreciate you guys so, so much for that. I appreciate all the super chats. I appreciate all of the PayPal's. I appreciate all of the cash apps. Which, by the way, since we're doing this video, I'll let you guys know this also. You guys, and I thank you guys so, so, so much. Before I even say it, I thank you guys so, 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 so much. You guys that do contribute to the channel, I appreciate you guys because I do have to go through a lot. And it is pretty costly to do this. So, when you send me money, which you'll find out if, if you follow T.Y., I'm sure he done told you because he talks about it a lot. If you send me money, like in my lives and stuff, on Super Chat, thank you so, so, so much for what I appreciate it because it does contribute to, you know, the channel. Helping me buy cameras and stuff like that and get everything ready that we need for, for the video. But YouTube does take some of that money. If you send me just a round number, if you send me $100, YouTube is going to take 30 and give me 70 If you send me $100 on Cash App or PayPal, I get the entire $100. I'm not ungrateful and I'm very, very thankful for however it is that you send it to me. Because you don't have to do that. And I appreciate you so much for it. But I did want to make sure I tell you that you guys that since we're already talking about what we go through as mukbangers for the videos. You guys, this is hard work. It really is. It's hard work. Just like, I'm going to tell you something now. Because Big Bean is clear. The screen. Like when I'm using the screen. Which I use the screen because that's what I want to do. Well, I like the screen. I like what it brings to the table. As far as when I finally get it all together and I get everything that I need to give you a great picture. Um, you'll see that's benefited to having the screen. I love the screen. But anyway, what I was trying to tell you was Big Ben is clear. Now, I don't know what he's going to do today. But if you're noticing the videos, I try to always hold him in front of me because he's clear. And if I put him in front of the screen, I'm going to put it here. Now watch, this time he'll come out perfect. But if I put it in front of the screen and don't put it in front of me, there's a very, very good chance that he, you won't be able to see him in the video 
which makes me have to edit harder to either take him, take him out completely. Sometimes if you're realizing the videos, you don't see Big Ben other than when we coming in and probably when we going out. That's because the screen has messed with him and you can't see him. Like he'll be see-through in the screen because he's clear. And I don't know if you can see that I'm trying to put him in front of me, but Big Ben is a like a soft gray color, which blends in with the screen if there's no drink in him. So it'll take that part of him away. Anyway, y'all, it's a, this is a lot. I think this was a very, very, very good challenge. That's why I, as soon as I seen it, I seen Cousin A.B. do it. And I went right on over to uh, Simply Food by T.Y. Because I had, I guess I missed his notification or something. But anyway, I went right over there and watched it. And I brought it to you because I think it was great. I think that it's great. Now, with that being said, y'all, tomorrow you will get the finished product. You will get me your regular video that I finished. Of course, all this talking that I'm doing now is going to be in it. No, I'll probably cut this part here out, some of this out. I don't know if I will or not. Because at the end of the day, I'm still going to be talking about the challenge. So I might well leave it in. We'll see. But anyway, tomorrow when you get here, you'll see what I've done to the background. You'll see that I've placed a, you know, a scenery there. Some of the foolery that I've done, dropping stuff, forgetting stuff, that kind of stuff, you won't see that. And if Big Ben's messed up, you won't see that either. So, anyway, I just thought it was interesting. I thought it was very, very interesting. I also want to say thank you to you guys for your responses and your participation and the comments that you left on the video from yesterday. The self-love video, that is so, 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 so important. I thank you guys so, 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 so much for that. Um, some of your comments were very, 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 very interesting. And I really had to think about them because you were asking me for advice. And I never want to give anybody any advice that may harm their life. Um, so I want to thank you guys for that. I love you guys. You guys are the best in the business. You hear me? The Legion. You guys are the best in the business. It don't matter what nobody say. And if these other channels don't believe that, they have lied to us. And we know they lied. Period. <laughs> you guys are the best in the business. You're the best in the business, baby. Sometime this week on the 21st, because um, I think the 21st is, let me see, today is the 17th or 18th. I think, no, today is the 18th. So, and it is, for me, it is Wednesday on the 18th. So, Thursday, Saturday, which is the 21st, you guys, we will have a, I, I'm going to try. Yeah. We're going to have us a seafood boil. Let me say, because today is Wednesday. This is coming out Thursday. No, it won't be Friday, y'all. It will be Saturday, because I've got to have the second edited edition of this to come out on Friday. But Friday is a, officially the sixth month anniversary for the Lips channel. <sighs> I love you guys so, so, so much. You guys, we've accomplished a lot in these six months. But anyway, I'm finna get up out of here. I'm finna get up out of here. Okay? I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoy this. We will have a, another uh, edited edition that will come out for the same video tomorrow so you guys can see how we put the glitz and glamour to it. It's going to be cute for you. I love you all so, so, so much. Thank you one more time for watching. I appreciate you so, so much. Now, you know I got to remind you. Big Ben says good night. <laughs> now, like I said, I've got to remind you to comment <laughs> I got choked up. <coughs> Y'all, my husband was laughing at me. See, when you get the ending product tomorrow, you ain't gonna see that right there. I told me to cut that out. Here we go. Here we go. I gotta start it. Um, what was I at? Oh, you know I gotta remind you to comment. That didn't go right either. You got the wrong bit. <laughs> Okay, you know I got to remind you to comment, 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 like to share, and go. Why is my voice so high right there? <laughs> I'm not bad. Here we go. Here we go. You know I got to remind you to com I didn't snap my fingers in. See what I'm saying? Okay, we're going to go for real. Here we go. Focus. 
You know I need to remind you to comment, 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 like a share and go. Take for the team. Comment, like a share and go. Take for the team. Comment, like a share and. Don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to comment like a share. You guys, you know what? I love me. I love you. I particularly love us. That's why we are many. Because there's a lot of people in the world. There are many people in the world that want to live their life positively. That's why we're called the Legion. Because we're many. Now, with that being said, y'all finna get up out of here. Here I go again, ramming again at the end. But I'm finna go, okay? In closing, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. Always remember, when obstacles come up in your life, there's always more than one way home. All you just have to do is get there. So get there, people, get there. I love you all, and I'll see you guys next time. And if you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Bye bye. Mwah. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I hope so. I am. I'm done. <laughs> that should be good. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go on, turn down. Okay. Oh. Yes. Um. Let me say, hello. All right, here we go. Ain't none there gonna work because my hand was in the front of all the rest of that food. Okay.